So if you have the TI-83, I'm going to walk through how to find the um, chi-squared statistic and the p-value for a goodness of fit test. So um, this is the same problem as the previous video. So I left up the information that stays the same. So our whole setup and everything is exactly the same. We have the observed values. Our expected values are equal in this case. Um, our hypotheses are the same, and we're going to come up with the exact same um, chi-squared um, test statistic and the p-value. So our, our um, conclusion is not going to change. So it's just finding those values. So um, put the uh, observed values in L1. So L1, L1 is going to equal the observed values. And L2 is going to be the expected values. And then we need an L3. So put the cursor, I wish I could show you my calculator, put the cursor at the very, very, very top where it says L3 and type equals. And your formula is that you're going to have L, so put parentheses, L1 minus L2 squared, so you're going to hit the squared button on your calculator, divided by L2, so divided by L2, and then hit enter, and it'll populate your entire L3 um, uh, list. And if you do that right, then in that column under L3, you should have like 0 0.2083, 0 1.875, 0, 0.3, and 2.1333. So um, to find the chi-squared test statistic, we want to sum these up. So to sum, you're going to go to list, which is second, <coughs> excuse me, second stat, which is list and you're gonna go over to math so arrow over to math and then you're gonna choose sum which is number five so you can go to five which says sum or at least it's five on my calculator oh now when I did that I'm still in the first like the first um, the first cell for L3, which is not what I want. So I'm going to click, I'm going to exit out of that and get back to my normal screen. I'm going to do that again. So second stat to get to list. I'm going to go over to math and then down to sum. And then I want to sum L3. So I'm going to do that blue L3 and close the parentheses. And you will get 4.517. So that is your test statistic, your chi-squared test statistic. Now you need your p-value. So to find the p-value, oops. You're going to go to uh, distribution, so second distribution, second bars, which gets you to distribution. And you're going to go down to chi-squared CDF. So mine is number eight. So I'm going to go down to number eight which looks like chi-square CDF. Um, the lower limit is always whatever your chi-squared statistic is. So it's going to be 4.517 for the lower. The upper is always infinity. So I'm just going to put a bunch of nines.
And then our degrees of freedom, we talked about this before. It's the number of categories minus one. This is five categories minus one gives me a degree of freedom of four. And then hit paste and enter, and you will get your p-value of 0 0.34. So we're getting the same numbers as the GOF test. We just have more work to do with it. And then, of course, we go through the same um, conclusion.